And it brings about the question about impact and what should we expect. This is a riff off a question that I got via uh, via Twitter. It was like, so what impact do you expect Hunter Dickinson to have? Do you do you think that he is is going to take some time for him to be an impact guy, or will he be an impact guy right out of the shoot? Was the question that came at me via Twitter. Uh, and I think you know this about me, Josh. I, I think that Hunter Dickinson is going to be Michigan's starting center. Yeah, I know you and you and Tim have talked about that extensively. Um, you know, I, I I do appreciate Tim's uh, you know perspective on things. Obviously, being a former player himself and NBA player, and you know his extensive resume, and, and you know he's extremely high on on Hunter as well, and. Um, you know, I, I think what he says holds a lot of weight in terms of, you know, projecting where, you know, these players are going to stack up. And I think, you know, history kind of, you know, it sorts Hunter favorably, I think. You know, I think he's he's getting into a situation where there's definitely big man minutes available. Um, obviously, you got Austin Davis there who... Do we know as has he reached his full potential yet? Does he have another gear that Hunter may have, which let's be honest, probably does have. I think Hunter from an athletic standpoint is is going to be much more advanced than than Austin will in his last year. And I think that you know the ceiling is is way, way higher. And um yeah, it, it would not surprise me to see Hunter come in and and even even become a day one starter. You know, I think there might be a there, there's going to be a little bit of a uh, a curve of of sorts um, in terms of learning and, and growth and hitting that little freshman wall a little bit. But you know, you've got a, a positive history of of Juwan developing big guys in terms of Austin's growth last year. Um, and you know, I, I, and there's nothing that suggests that won't happen again with with hunter yeah he's seven two so i mean that's what you just can't teach that uh it's one his his back to the basket game uh you know for a freshman is already already going to be pretty refined i mean i think when you look at austin davis one of the questions about him is you know he was so good in 12 to 15 minutes you know does he veteran he may be uh reliable he is uh, but do you do you diminish his production, his level of efficiency, if you say instead of twelve to fifteen, you know, give me twenty five? And so I, I think that you know I, I think that his role will will he play more minutes? I'm sure he'll play a few more minutes, but I, I just don't think that they are gonna try to push him to be a twenty five minute per game guy. Uh, I don't think that's too much to ask for. For, for I mean, Hunter seven two. He's two hundred fifty pounds. He's going to be able to bang. Uh, if you know anything about his background, he's a guy that that makes a habit has made a habit of of getting work in with pros or would be pros. One of the things that I found out recently is he's been working out. He doing a shutdown with Luca Garza. So think oh. about what that'll mean when if Luca Garza comes back to Iowa and they face off. Uh, he will at, at least have seen him before, kind of know some of his tendencies. That doesn't mean that he'll be able to stop Luca Garza, uh, right. but it, it it gives you an idea of the kind of work that he's putting in. Uh, physically, he's going to be ready to go. I think he'll he'll step in, and from day one, I think he'll be Michigan's best uh, post player. Uh, he can he's reliable out to eighteen feet. He can hit a three, uh, but his his damage is done inside the arc. Uh, the the Biggest question mark about him has to do with uh, his athleticism, especially on the defensive end of the floor. 